Hello and welcome to the second series of the Deep Plugins tutorials and today we are going to talk about the fonts and how to optimize them. The first thing that you need to learn is how to find your language uh, subset and uh, if you are from the Western Europe the regular or the basic Latin will cover all your needs and we can check that by going to the Latin and for the sentence we're going to switch to alphabet we can use this view and for example we can start typing the German letters or the Swedish letters and we see that this font is supporting it and if you're from the Eastern Europe you will definitely need to switch from the Latin to Latin extended let me find it and switch back to the alphabet and you can see the Serbian or the Croatian characters as well. Okay, let me find the font that supports all the languages and we can try with the Della Gothic one. I'm going to download font and we are going to use the online font converter, the transfonter.org and we are going to now convert it with this tool and by the default the transporter.org is set on the subsets uh, of the all and that's the biggest mistake that people are doing when they start converting it they keep it on all and let me explain you now why as well so we're going to add the fonts okay and press convert it can take for a while because the font is 5.5 megabyte Okay, now you can press download and what I did for the testing pur purposes I have downloaded it or converted it three times once it's with the all, once I used the Latin and once I used the Latin extended and please take a look what is the difference when you convert it as all the font will be 2.1 megabyte when you convert it as a uh, latin just the latin basic it's going to be the 24 kilobytes and as a latin extended it's going to be 31 the difference is this font uh, supports all the languages so it's going to support the latin latin extended the arabic Chinese, Japanese, and all the characters that all the languages have. And by choosing the subset, we are stripping the characters that we don't need and using only the one that we need. Okay, let's now move to the oxygen so I can explain the setup. Here we have the several text blocks. All the text blocks have the applied custom font which I call the title and all the blocks are separated by the font subsets uh, the custom font is available with the Swiss knife feature and I already uploaded the converted all the latin and the latin extended so if i select the latin and upload it for the testing purpose i only uploading the wolf 2 file Let's save it reload it and here we can see that the font these characters the rest are the browser defaults so we'll see that in latin we're missing some of them and let's now switch to the 
Latin extended. Save. Refresh. And we can see that uh, with the Latin extended, we're covering this one as well, but we're still missing the rest of them. So if you go to the all, see again. And now we can see that all is covering all. So I hope this will give you some hint how to optimize your custom fonts for the future projects. Now when you have learned about the converting the font, let's now talk about displaying and preloading the font. Go back to the oxygen. We are going to see that we are having the title font and we are having the custom font and that's the Roboto for the body as well. Let's now open the incognito and for the networking we are going to switch to the 3G. We are going to reload it again. If we do it again, you will see this switch and that means that the browser is first loading the browser default fonts and after the browser fetch the font files he's going to replace it and the font replacement was possible by the font display swap uh, feature there are several options and i'm going to provide the details for all the option inside the description and for the end, let's talk about the preloading the font. So if you go to the elements, head, let's preload only the title because if we refresh it again, you will see the biggest switch was on the title, but you didn't saw it too much on the body font and if we save it refresh it now again we open this one here you are going to see the preload as font and then you will see the font file and the reason why i'm preloading only the title it's because of the performance and this means that the browser will first fetch the font file then it's going to fetch the rest of the css and the html so if we have the several fonts preloaded then the browser will first need to fetch all the font files and then the rest of the website and then it can be slow and you always need to balance between the user's experience and the performance okay that would be all for uh, the font optimizations if you like our videos if you find them interesting and useful please subscribe because the more awesome tutorials is coming up and if you want to talk more about the similar topics uh, please go to the Facebook group the plugins and chat with me or with the rest of the members inside the friendly the plugins group I wish you a great day and see you soon